Representation, Latinos, uh, none of, on the Oscars. That is today's Big, big deal. deal! So it seems that we have to talk about this every few months. Every few months, my there's, goodness. There's award shows, and then when that comes time, and we realize how underrepresented we are again. But then I, well, you know what, everybody's, and I'm not saying that this is a good thing, you know, underrepresentation, underrepresentation is not a good thing, but I'm just like, of the movies that could have been uh, nominated for an Oscar, like how many really had Latino talent? I honestly can't really think of any. Well, that's and, the point. But I'm like, well, well, a ver, Guillermo del Toro, you know, as a director. Right. Well, that's the one, the one guy Coco. who's already been, yeah. As far as the, that, that, that triumvirate of great Mexican directors, uh, yeah, Gustavo, Iñárritu. Iñárritu, yeah, they awesome, they killed. Outside of those three guys, I can't really think of any other movies with well, Latinos. Not, that's not, it's not so much about the award show, it's about the, what happens prior and the casting and the whole involvement and the yeah. of Latin people in the entertainment world. Because yeah, there's been a big push for diversity, but it's mostly, at this point, been about African Americans. So we're still kind of like, you know, in this uh, liminal space of like, yeah, we're being recognized, but we're not yet being put in in the, roles, in like roles that we, that roles. we deserve, you know, we're, we're still being pandered to in stereotypes. No, how about Catherine Zeta-Jones playing the cocaine godmother, uh, Griselda Blanco? I don't know if you guys are familiar with oh, this, yeah. but Ridiculous. Uh, if you ever saw the documentary Cocaine Cowboys, yeah. um, there was this one woman, Colombian woman, who yeah. was one of the biggest drug dealers of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Who plays her? Catherine Zeta-Jones. Although, I will say this, on Versace, uh -huh. Penelope Cruz, Okay. And Edgar Ramirez. They play great. Are playing yeah. non Latinos. Finally! Well, so many non Latinos playing Latino characters. Okay, and that's Latino characters yeah. play non Latinos. The great. one thing that I do like about that but show is. Edgar Ramirez that is Latino. There are so Edgar Ramirez many. is Latino, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, there are yeah, so many Latino actors. in Penelope Cruz. She's Spanish, but still. Playing non Hispanics, yeah, characters they're playing characters Italian. Characters Italian characters. No, no, almost a whole cast is Latino. You don't know how many actors I've talked Ricky to. Ricky Martin? Yeah, Ricky Martin. Or even like supporting actors. Well, we'll see next year Versace gets nominated for Golden Globe Awards and Emmys. And if, if the, if the cast, it better. At least it for art direction anyway, yeah. and you know set design because it's, it's beautiful. But the cast, beautiful. the cast. You have Edgar Ramirez, you have oh, uh, no, Penelope Cruz, you have Ricky Martin. Out of those three, one of them better get nominated for something. I hope so, man. I mean, they didn't invest all that money for nothing into that show. <laughs> but what, like, what do you think? I, I, I struggle with how Hollywood struggles with us. I mean, okay. I, do you think that they think? that, okay, well, let's just try casting them in ethnically ambiguous roles, or do you think they struggle with, well, Latinos come with, like, this culture and, and this other language, and, and you know, it's, it's this whole thing that they don't really know how to, you know, embrace or include, and maybe they don't have to. Maybe they can just cast a Latino and not feel they need to drag in Latino culture and right. just let them do their thing. Yeah, right. I never thought about that, but maybe they do struggle. They maybe just think that we're only into Spanish language stuff or stuff that, like, has blatant displays of our culture in it, you know? Maybe it has to be like a Mambo Kings movie for them to even consider us getting, you know, a cast. I mean, it's just, for me, for example, as simple as it is with, with what I do a lot of, which is commercial work. Right. Um, and funny enough, I just, well, I not, I not I just get sent to auditions in Spanish, but I do get most of my work for, you know, Spanish-speaking commercials. And I've done my share of, you know, of auditions sometimes in English, which I, I've booked, mm -hmm. but it's mainly only Spanish. And I need to call my agents all the time and be like, listen, thank you so much. Like, it's amazing. I'm booking this stuff and I will continue to go to those castings. But I can also be sent to general market situations. Like, even though I'm considered Latina, you know, for certain things, you're not Latino enough for certain right. things. Right. Or you you're not Latino Latina. enough. So it's never, you're never on the perfect position for that. But... I mean, it happens in an everyday life in LA. You have to be pushing and Here's pushing what I'm and hoping. Here, look, like, here, I can true. pull it off. Here's true. what I'm Send hoping that, the, castings, that there's gonna know? be like a prequel done for Modern Family, and you get to play like a young <laughs> Sofia Vergara before she had all her boobs and face done. <laughs> she hasn't got in her face. I'm just saying to explain why they look Ay, a little Dennis, different. Ay, Dennis, por favor. Ay, she Thank you. Natural for She's super okay. beautiful, but everybody has a little. What I will have to say about this entire situation: there's always like a group of Latino actors or people in the media that are always talking about underrepresentation. There's a lot of other Latino actors or, you know, people in the media that are really hot right now, and I think their voice is heard a little bit more than some of these other people that have been saying it for years. Okay. I don't want to name names, but I feel of the people that are hot right now in the media, the only person that has really stood up for the community and whose voice has really been heard about this is Gina Rodriguez. Totally. And there is so many other performers, and I don't want to name you ladies. Name them! That, no, I don't want I, I can't right now. I'll, right, you then, then, I'll do it. I'll name them. Ready to go? We're gonna roll. Just give me one. Anyhow, give me one. 
Eva Longoria, why, why don't we hear from you? Like, well, I'm just saying because I feel like sometimes they speak about more mainstream American things like me too. What about us Latinos? Okay, good, on Yo, that note. I love that. Yo, Dennis. Dennis, 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 D